Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I wasn't going to do this, but the gentleman asked me to. And I made it a little bit different, but you could, you're going to get the idea uh, and how I did this. So there's your pattern for your, uh, and you can change that very easily. So what you need to do is you need to set your nudge factor on pretty big. This picture is 59 inches right now, so we're going to make our nudge factor 60. And we're going to take our picture, we're going to control D and make a duplicate of it. Then we're going to take that picture while it is selected. That's pretty important. Get the crop tool and crop out this part of the gun. And because I had it selected, it left my original picture. Now I'm going to nudge it over a little bit more. There are several ways to do this. One, you could just trace it. And... That might be the easiest scenario, but I kind of like doing this. It's kind of fun. So go to bitmap, resample it. It's gonna, we're going to make it 300 and make it sharper. We're going to go to bitmap. We're going to convert to a grayscale bitmap. That probably doesn't really matter, but this is the way I do it. it takes just a second. And then we're going to trace the bitmap. Outline trace clip art seems to work the best. And this is going to take just a few seconds. It's already at 40%. And here we go. Now our new copy is going to be on top. So we're going to nudge it over. Now we've got some garbage. So we're going to select it to go to object, ungroup. And we're going to take our black and move it over. Our black and move it over. We got rid of all that garbage. We got rid of seven objects by doing that. Now we're gonna take, and it's all broken apart, but we're gonna select it all, and we're gonna left click, no fill, right click a fill. We've got some holes here that really don't matter, doesn't matter. But if we go to, if we click on it, and go up to object and break, well, let's do the whole thing. Object, well, it's already broken apart, but it shouldn't. Let's select just that, go up to object, break curve apart. That's what I was looking for. We're going to get rid of that little, that little bubble in the drawing. Doesn't really matter. Now, I'm pretty sure he's got X8 and above. He's going to have the smoothing tool. We're going to set our smoothing tool. Let's set it on three. And the, the pressure 61, which is pretty good. And you really can't really mess this up as long as you stay off that edge. We're going to smooth all this out. And I'm just going over it. I'm not really changing the contour too much. And that one is done. Now we're going to take the top one. Let's zoom in here. Every little bubble, every little crease is going to affect us when we do what we're going to do next. So you've got to kind of got it smooth. If you do not have the smoothing tool, you can use the shape tool. It just takes a little longer. Now I'm going to take a two-point line and go from that node to that node. And I'm going to go from there to there. And I'm going to use, we're going to safely put a rectangle around it just in case it leaks. I don't think it is. And it didn't. We're going to nudge that over. And we're going to left click, right click. There is our shape for our pistol grip. Now, we're gonna go to effects and contour. We're gonna contour to half of an inch, just because it's so big, to the inside. We're gonna go to object, break contour apart, and when you grab the center, it's only gonna grab their center one. And we can nudge that guy back over to our original picture. And there is your place to put your uh, 3D effect, your, tech, uh, your checkering. Now he has a, he's mimicking this triangle. And like I said, his is a little bit different down there, but you can do that. So it's already a curve, so we're gonna just grab it and then just bring in our triangle. 
to wherever your heart's content. Now, like I said, he's got he's got a different, like a pistol grip. I'm going to hate if I mess this up. Let's turn that one and this one into a line. I'm going to right click, turn it into a line. Then you can do anything you want with it. You can take it back, click on that one, hold down the shift, click on that one, right click and convert it to a curve. And then you could take and move this to your heart's content. Now he's got a flat spot there, very easily done. I think ha, I'm gonna grab a node, I'm gonna click on a node and I'm gonna bring that down. Then I'm gonna click on that node, holding down the shift and click on that node, and I'm gonna convert them to a line. Then we can move that down a little bit. We could probably actually get rid of that node. Whoop. Let's get rid of, I had them both selected what was the problem was. Get rid of that node, and then we could right click and convert these to a line. I actually like a little bit of curve to that. And then because these are lines, we'll have to convert this one. Let's try smooth. And you can bring that down. And this way, if you're working on your gun, I don't like that, but you can kind of get the idea. Let's turn it into a cusp. And then we can move everything around. And you know what? We can take this one and convert it to a curve. And then we could grab kind of the middle. And there you go. Let's turn that yellow on the inside. That's pretty close to what he had. And like I said in the previous video, once you've got it scaled to your gun, I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate. I'm gonna change my nudge distance only like to five inches. I'm gonna nudge this out of the way and I'm gonna left click, right click. I'm gonna left click, right click. There is your checkered pattern. But if you do this, you could take this one, nudge it off your gun, if that's your checkered pattern, nudge this one back and run a red dot pointer and watch it on this line and get your gun placement in there. Get Make sure this line, and leave your lid open so it will not burn it when you, because this is a hairline. So it's, the laser thinks it's cutting it, but, and also put it on, put your power on zero in about 30 speed and watch it trace that. Once you've got your gun where you want it, you can nudge that out of the way and now bring your checkering in and it'll be exactly in that same spot. And then I'm not gonna put a checkering in it, but that's what it's gonna look like. Anyway, I truly hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.